Greetings my friends and welcome back today for a quick video on the features of the patch version 1.2 for FS19 which is still in beta at this point. So and we will look into the main features which is the highly anticipated landscaping. Uh, to look into it I will use uh, one of my test saves of Ravenport the map that I'm using for my series, uh, except that I have, as you can see, 98 millions in my bank account. Okay, so this new feature is in the menu of, uh, you know, the shop menu, and is this last one. If you remember, this one used to be the last one. Now we have, we have landscaping here. We press start, and we are in the placeable menus. But as you can see, you have these two icons, sculpting and painting. We will actually go to the fields that we are actively using in our series, which is this fields 14, 15, 16 and 17. And here is where we will try these features. So when you have sculpting activated, if you press F1, you can see all the options. So. Uh, pressing X will change uh, the sculpting mode, so it will go from sculpting to painting. We will leave it uh, uh, sculpting for now. Uh, okay, and the key, the arrows will change the radius. As you can see, it can go from small to big. Let's uh, keep it uh, at medium size. And it also says that by pressing the left button, it will raise the terrain, as you can see. And also when it raises, it destroys the field. So the longer you press the left key, the higher the terrain goes. If you press the right key, it will go down. So again, the longer you press, the deeper it goes. I, I suppose the lowest level would be like the sea level, but I'm not sure. And what well, one interesting thing is the fact that each operation, as you can see, is draining from your bank account. So if you're using this um, function while you know playing in a career mode, in one of the three career modes, you'll actually be spending copious amounts of money. So what I would suggest is before you start uh, sculpting your world, you make a save, well, a copy of your save, so that if uh, the money you use, because you can go back and forth, you know, you can uh, play with it, test with it, and then you decide that maybe you did something wrong and you want to go back. Well, since this game will periodically autosave, there will be no going back, so you better make a copy of your save. Let's test the other functions. One function that is actually of uh, big interest for me is the flatten uh, function, which is activated by pressing both um, mouse key, uh, the left and the right, and it will actually flatten the world from, you know, at the level where you st uh, first start uh, clicking it. So here it will flatten everything at the level that used to be, you know, at the level one I started to click, as you can see. If I go there, so it will bring everything down. If I go in this direction, it will bring everything up. And if you'll take a, a look at my bank account, it is draining like crazy. So again, be prepared for it and you better use this, uh, you know, carefully or you use it just before starting your real gameplay. So give yourself like uh, 10 millions in your account, play with it, uh, you know, uh, re-sculpt your map as you like and only after that uh, start uh, a real gameplay. So now the next function will be by pressing X, it will go into painting mode. And here, as you can see, we have activated, uh, I assume this is gravel or something similar. 
and it will paint it as gravel. You can change the mode by pressing tab. Okay, uh, except it doesn't tell you what you activate. You know, I guess you have to trust your eyes. Okay. Also, one thing to notice is, I don't know if you noticed it, as you can see this painting or coloring, it works even very close to the roads. But in the sculpting mode, it actually works only outside of the existing um, uh, buildings, including roads, and outside of uh, placeables. So as you can see, you cannot raise the level of your uh, roads. You can only work around them. So yeah, this is how it works. And also, yes, I noticed, but uh, it, it destroys the fields. So be careful if you like your fields and you do resculpt the things, you'll have to create your fields uh, from scratch using uh, uh, the plows. Okay, let's go back into painting mod by pressing X and then tab. I hope I have all these different types of trains. You'll have to play it with it a little bit just to get used to it. And uh, yeah, in theory, we had all these uh, functions using the Giants editor, but again, not everyone is familiar with it, and that's a nice way of uh, doing this uh, sculpturing and reshaping of the maps, uh, you know, in the game using real in-game money, although it will take a lot of money to do whatever you would like to do. Okay, and one other function is by pressing C, you can go from round shaped into a square shape. And yeah, this is basically the main uh, feature. Um, as I, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I would like to test if this patch actually solved some of the bugs of the previous uh, versions, like uh, the main one, which I would like to be fixed, is um, uh, the ships, because uh, they, they were totally broken. But I don't know, we'll have to, to test it. This is uh, basically the main feature, feature of this uh, patch. Uh, it's still, as I said, in beta, so uh, I assume the uh, final release version will have some uh, other improvements and bug fixes. Okay, so this is it. Uh, this was Johnny M. I'm signing off. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all next time and I wish you all a great day. Bye-bye.